at last. Hello guys and welcome to another at last video and today we are going to do Karasan and return to Karasan. The newly added dungeon, Mythic Dungeon 2 World of Warcraft. And it's been several expansions since the last time we went in. So this is definitely going to be a blast and very nostalgic to be back. And um, the thing is that I haven't really tried any of the bosses yet, so we'll just take it on the fly. And I'm pretty adoptive, so I should be able to actually be able to to clear what I need to what what I need to clear and and face what I need to face in regards to both mobs and bosses. So this also been a while since, but back in the days you wouldn't. Whoa. You wouldn't go to the Opera Hall already. Um, I think the first boss back in the days was actually the Headless Horseman. I do assume I am not supposed to be standing in that stuff. It's like everything. Um, don't stand in weird stuff on the ground that's not from one of you guys. So being a tank, it's, it's the most important thing is actually just to have aggro. Because when you have aggro, you can control them like you want to. Uh, especially a good thing for uh, the Death Knight is the, the Death and Decay. As you can throw down Death and Decay and you can kite them through the Death and Decay and just have them walk to you. You also spare the healer for a lot of, well, technically unnecessary healing. Since you're not taking any direct damage in melee range, so just always kite as much as you can, really. So the opera, I assume we're going to the first boss here. Um, guess it wasn't that way. Ah, down here, of course. So I guess we could skip that pack down there, so I'll go directly for this one. Oh, we have to activate some beacons. So let's just throw down Death and Decay here and have them chase me a bit. After DVS, clear out the rest. As long as you don't sidestep into any other packs, it's, you're pretty, pretty much good. I have no idea how to get to these beacons. Ah, okay. I guess we'll take it on the go then. There's nothing like going in blind on new uh, new raid instances or new dungeons for that matter. So we got a ah crap. Let's just do it like this. Oh come on. Could be kiting again here. Just have them chase me. Through death and decay, it slows them a lot. My damage is pretty much insignificant in regards to taking on these packs. So as long as you kite them good, it's good for the group. It's too far away. People seem to be very polite, I guess it's because everybody knows it's a harder instance and it's new stuff. So people really want to be like, nobody want to, uh, want to be a smart ass around here. Always be humble and polite. You'll get invited back into the group.
Uh, okay. So... Uh, just to watch shit and nuke ads. So it's a wicked. Move out of wondrous radiance when it appears below you. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, you can see here it's they they're talking behind the back, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh there we go. Generations of enmity, they are brought together by passion for death. All right. And violence. Good luck, have fun to me, I guess. As the song of their love rumbles across the fields, will it end in triumph? Or triumph? Pretty nice skins for the other guys here. And now, on with the show. Hmm. I have to say, it's been a while since I've been into Kara in general, so... Alright. Tony. Well, I guess... Let's just activate. I can't really see the... These tornadoes of fire, I guess they should be avoided. Oh, come on. Oh, move away from the others. Okay. Whoa. Nice. Move away from the others. A lot of stuff needs to be avoided here. Thank you, Blizzard, for actually making more stuff appear than just random one Dutch stuff in Mythics. This is. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think this is the most awesome way to be tanking. Oh, he's back. What? 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 Pretty intense. I love it. Get away from me. Run away, little girl. Let's get this guy up. Run away, little girl. Run away. So I guess we got the Murloc down. Uh, what would be a suited place to attack over here, actually? Also, he jumps to every individual, and when he gets to an individual, he creates that fiery tomato. I guess that's how it works. But I think we got the encounter right now. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna roll on anything here. A 
so yeah, I just guess we need to continue here. Whoa. Silence all you can. I'm not sure if we should take them out of those lights. We got another one here. A lot of random one mob patrols. Yeah, move them out of the light there, uh, yeah. Um, should be stunning them in the light. So, well, people died... Well, don't stun them in the light. Oh, it's Romulo and Julianne. Pretty nice. Maybe if the acting had been less transparent, we wouldn't have been out of a job. Ah, uh, he's so insufferable. What a jerk. We got the crone, tinhead, raw, and straw man. And we got the big bad wolf and grandmother. Pretty cool. Let's just try and keep them here just for a little while. Violence portals. I know that from Hot Stone. And if they work the same way, we will get Angry Mobs. Out of those portals and they will gain no, they will deal damage, that's how it works. Seem to be alright to handle. No biggie. So I guess the thing is just to don't stand in in the way of the Fire Lands bottle. And the mobs spawn from the portal actually die pretty easily, so it's no big deal. How the hell did they die? I guess the portal killed them.
And we're doing spiders, they do poison cleave. Alright. I guess the other died really just to standing in the way of the portals. Okay, so face the spiders away from the others. And have me pick up all the aggro that I can. Let's just wait for the group. A skeletal usher. It's in general just a good idea to just face stuff away from others. Oh, that's the first beacon, alright. Wait just a bit. The idea was actually just bring them down the stairs instead of fighting on the stairs, which could be kind of clumsy, but it worked out just fine. But the deal about doing line of sight pulls is that you really are able to clump them up good so you can AOE them down, like the case right here. And the fact is that these mobs can be AOE down, so you're all good. Just kill this Usher right here. Playing Karasan here actually makes me feel like being in a old instance and raid. Uh, I'm just not raid, but instance. Oh, let's just make it easier for the healer. Just use every measure I got. Let's kite a bit. See, they are following me, they're falling at a slow pace, so I can run away safe. The healer can heal me up, and the DPS can do what they do best and actually kill them. Nice one. Negative re review. Relegated to rotating venue, the only highlight of Romulo Julian is their off night. <laughs> awesome. So we got Sebastian the organist over here. We can pull them individually. Oh, okay, when they cast a flashlight, face them away. Let's 
so I just need to click it. <clears throat> there we go. I've solved. Oh yeah, face away. <laughs> Everybody seems to be forgetting that. The first flashlight you get, oh that's flashlight. So I guess last pulling would be good. I'm out of These mobs are easy. All right. They die pretty easy, that's good. Oh crap, they have some sort of shadow rejuvenation. I don't know who's the one healing, but they do have something that healed as Shadow Rejuvenation. But I guess that's always a risk when you pull a lot of stuff. Oh, we got the Maiden of Virtue. Oh, of course, that's the range guy. Not even sure how his DPS is. I think he's doing fine, really. I know there's a lot of AoE and you can't really say AoE counts, but still. Oh, Phantom How I Come here. Might as well just take them all. They are more easy than I 
would have anticipated first. As I recall, Maiden of Virtue, I think there is stuff that we need to turn our backs to. Can't quite remember it. Uh, let's just kind of again get the healer a chance. Nice. Let's just go in here and just get it over with. Come at me. Come at me. to dip into some AoE to get one debuff to not get rip pendant. All right. This guy is pretty good. A dungeon group leader actually being a dungeon group leader. I really like that because this is going to help you guys too. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's just let's see, look at the dungeon guide. Holy shock will deal increased damage if not interrupted. Uh, stand near a growing patch of secret ground when main of virtue cast mass repentance. Alright. When maiden of virtue is protected by holy bulwark, damage her to remove it and then interrupt. All right, everybody is ready. Let's just let's just get to it. So he's doing sacred ground and running to the back. No, no reason to have sacred ground in the entire room, since we're only going to need one debuff. So he's running to the other sacred ground just to keep it together. Mass repentance. So just get one debuff when she casts the Mass Repentance. You can't really go back into Sacred Ground because it's going to take violently. I do assume we were going to get one more Mass Repentance. Mass DPS here. Nice. Yeah. 
So the thing is, when she casts Mass Repentance, it's just about getting that one... One debuff. Oh, so much sacred ground. Ah, we will get her. Now oh, it's just about getting that shield down. ASAP. Let's just roll because I want the back. <laughs> nice. A little bit of a cutscene here. Let's just watch it. It breaks my heart to see him. Lay and Ren. Another year of slumber. I wonder if Medivh will ever awaken. Does our old friend dream? Is he trapped? What the hell is that? <laughs> so yeah, we got some double loot here. Might as well just enchant our back. Go. So the Maiden of Virtue is pretty easy just when everybody gets that one debuff and get the shield down. Because if you don't get the shield down, it's going to wipe you. Oh, and my new bag just looks like a piece of scoff or something. So it's spidey, spidey time. We got it. Atchman the Horseman. So these guys poison cleave like our group leader says, so just face them away if you're tanking them. No reason to take too many chances here on Karasan because you're going to run for quite a while when you wipe so it's really about being careful not taking too many chances bouncy 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 ball And the reason why we're going into this room is because we got Oh shit 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 We got a quest objective down here uh, One of those stuff that needs to be challenged I really loved Goldman's Grasp. Oh, there's a Cold Mist Stalker down there. No one has acro from it. Whoa! 
That hurt. So, one pack at a time, yeah.
So I guess I have to move out of poison when poison is applied to the ground. If any poison is applied at all, I don't know. What am I targeting? Something not even inside the room. Uh, small spiders acro when you touch the web on the ground here you can actually just go ah almost I need to kite now. There's plenty of room to kite in, so let's just take advantage of that. Let's venture deeper inside of this tunnel. You can see the, the caustic when it moves from the inflicting. So I'm dripping with poison here. And it hurts a lot. So no wonder um, the rest of the group members will die off fast. When they get this debuff. So this is the usual entrance. Uh, old entrance to, uh, to Karasan. Let's just take a look at the adventure guide. I can't remember any tactic back from the original Karasan days. Oh, 
Oh, he does healing touch. I guess that's another reason to not pull everything. And I do hope that one of the guys in the group will actually get that mount. I guess you could say definitely worth an extra roll. The original first boss of Karazhan. to cast <laughs> someone was faster than me I'm slow why don't I have acro from that one There we go. If you're high in DPS, it's in general a good thing to get these tidy DPS plates to see if you have unnecessary acro from a mob. So I want to be on one of the spectrals. can here. So we've got three of these guys that can actually use healing touch. People are pretty good at interrupting here. There we go. I don't think it's necessary necessary to to clear out the uh, the other pack over there. Uh, while on foot, Edmund will constantly hit you with a mortal strike. Um, so yeah, I have to face him away. Deposition Edelman so you and your melee damage dealers can easily avoid Midnots and Messier. Alright. So shared suffering. <coughs> I So let's go. Ah, oh, crap. They aggro when you aggro.
guess we have to. So let's clear these trashes to actually being able to fight Atchum and the Horseman. I'm not sure what was incoming.
Was I completely sleeping? Mm, not sure. Our shaman is a bit clumsy, but he's a nice guy. And he's doing alright. Yay, Gammon is here. Just kite them again. There we go. So I guess it's pretty much they need to reposition Atomen so you can you and your melee damage dealers can easily avoid midnight's misery. Her front who and charge for them. Ah, oh, didn't just and general need to face the the tank away, so I faced him uh, to pass away. <clears throat> Alrighty. Um. Oh, Midnight seems to be going down pretty fast. I guess we have to avoid that. Nice. So we only got midnight left. This fight is actually... the mechanics don't hurt at all. Let's roll. Ah, go. Cool. 